Hello there, how are you? Welcome back to How I Did It. I gotta tell you, these corral panels, one on each side, smash some T posts into the ground and then wire the corral panels to that. Then you can just simply take three um, cattle panels or hog panels, whatever you wanna call them, either zip tie it or wire tie it to the corral panels a tarp over the top and you have an instant structure for the animals out in the pastures. It's just absolutely amazing. Now my friends that live in Texas, this is how they set up uh, shaded areas and whatnot for their horses, donkeys, cows, and they're basically indestructible. You need to move it and it's just as simple as one, two, three. It is truly amazing having the silver pointed up at the sky with the black on the inside it even kept the environment super cool uh, all relative of course in their form and then here's just a real quick overview look of it look at it at the back they left the front a little bit more open than uh, the back as far as how they lined this tarp up and they really pretty much just used what they had um, on their property just kind of recycled it now I was looking at Craigslist these are all over Craigslist tractor supply has it so I think this is the way I'm gonna go in the pasture here in Florida now on to looking at the girls they are absolutely doing fantastic there goes my little prego Stella in the back there or non prego <laughs> breastfeeding her boobies hanging down to the ground these girls are absolutely doing fantastic. We had a, a little cool down for a while. They ate all the honey that was up in the top, but now they are back at it. So this will be a wonderful all natural honey season for me. Alrighty then, I just wanna thank you all for stopping by. This is short and sweet, and I will see you Friday on the puppy update. Alrighty then, have an absolutely wonderful and blessed day.